Welcome Brainers! In this video, we're going to show you how to successfully install and run Xcode on your Windows PC. We all know that Xcode is designed to work exclusively with macOS, but not a big deal, we're going to show you how to set up a macOS virtual machine on top of your Windows system, so you can start building your apps on Xcode. Step 1. Setting up a macOS virtual machine. Please follow this video link and create your virtual machine. Once your virtual machine is up and running, make sure to return to this video. We'll be discussing key points that are crucial for running Xcode, so I highly recommend bookmarking the current video that you're watching to easily return to it. Step 2. Editing virtual machine settings. Xcode requires a significant amount of system resources. That's why it's essential to modify the resource allocations of your virtual machine accordingly. Please make sure your macOS VM is shut down. Select the VM and click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings. Select the Hardware tab. Click on Memory and adjust the slider or enter the value accordingly. I would suggest you increase it as large as possible, but be well within the maximum recommended memory shown here. Let's navigate to the Processors section. Before we make any modifications, let's double-check the number of processors on the host PC. To do this, please open the Task Manager. Go to Performance tab, then click on CPU. Please take note of this logical processor's value. As a general rule, you can allocate half of this value to your virtual machine. However, for this demonstration, I'm going to stretch a bit and try allocating 6. Please navigate to the Display section. Enable 3D Graphics. And then adjust the graphics memory allocation. 8GB is recommended here, but I don't have a powerful graphics card, so I would like to try 2GB. Step 3. Download and install Xcode. Please ensure your VM is started and running. Go ahead and open your web browser. Search for Xcode Developer. And open this link. I've also given the link in my video description. At the top right, please select Download and choose Website. Now you'll need to log in with your Apple ID and password. Even if you don't have an Apple ID, no problem. You can create one right away. Yes, you can create an Apple ID, even without an Apple device. After you complete the login process, you should land on a page similar to this. Please scroll down and choose the Xcode version that you are interested in. And click on this link. You might need to allow download from this website. Please note that this file is quite large, so you should ensure you have enough space left on your VM disk. And please exercise patience and allow time for the download to complete. I'm back after a break and my download has been completed. Please right-click and select Show in Folder. Double-tap on this zip file. This will now extract the Xcode app. Again, please be patient, the extract might take longer time. Xcode is almost ready on your machine. Optionally you can drag and drop this file to your Applications folder. Also, this zip file can be moved to trash to save some disk space. Go ahead and double tap on this Xcode app. Please accept the terms. Supply the password that you generally use when logging into this macOS VM. Please follow the on screen instructions. This will generally take more time, especially on your first launch. So please be patient.
I've just executed the Hello World app, which will now launch the iPhone simulator and run our application. Again, this is expected to take some time. Amazing! Our first Xcode app has run successfully on the Windows PC. I hope it's helpful. Please do like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you've any questions or thoughts, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another helpful video.